Angeville, Greg and Milwaukee Vincent is next. And for a preview, let's send it over to our announcers, Jay Wilson and Jim Jones. All right, Scott, thanks a lot. Good evening, everyone. Milwaukee Vincent, the defending champions against Janesville Craig. Janesville Craig wants to push the tempo. They had great games from their inside players tonight, but if they're going to push the tempo, Chris Dillon is going to be the guy that's going to be pushing it up the court. Chris Dillon last night against Oshkosh North hit some big uh, three-point baskets uh, when Oshkosh North got close. He's been doing that all year long. He also leads the team in assists. He's also a 4.7 student, and he's a three-year uh, starter in baseball for Coach Sewell. If the game speeds up a bit, Milwaukee Vincent may want to hold it down a bit. They would go to their steadying force, Robert Yanders. Well, Robert Yanders is the only player on that team that uh, is really a threat from the outside. Uh, uh, he had a couple key uh, trades last night, uh, just before he entered the quarter against the uh, Wausau West and uh, you got to be on your toes and, once, and then again too Vincent likes to run too so it depends they want to dictate tempo yeah. last night Milwaukee Vincent beat Wausau West 48 36 Janesville Craig was a 68 58 winner over Oshkosh North so the division one semifinals continue as we continue on the WIAA State Tournament Network we'll have a message from your local sponsors this is your WIAA Network Station It's about time and finding faster ways to take new ideas from drawing board to reality. It's about the search for methods to make machinery last longer or make a long drive seem shorter. It's about making time to look beyond the obvious. And most of all, about taking time to listen. All things change through time. Cars, trucks, and a company. When we built our house, we found a lot that was just Perfect. Yeah, well, it was the worst sight I'd ever seen. We love the view, and the sunsets are incredible. The weather is brutal. It had everything. Earthquakes, tidal waves, horizontal rain. We wanted lots of windows. I insisted on Anderson windows. At Anderson, we appreciate the builders who, time after time, make it look easy. We're still in love with this house. And I'm still recovering. Worry-proof, time-proof. Anderson windows. Starting lineups, here's Pete Christensen. Introducing the starting lineups for game number 12. At a forward for the Janesville Craig Cougars. Number 22, Scott Vanderhei. At forward for the Milwaukee Vincent Vikings. Number 44, Xavier Swanigan. The other forward for Janesville Craig, number 50, Aubrey Lewis Byers. And for Milwaukee, Vincent, number 32, Marshall Williams. At center, for the Cougars, number 42, Austin Latka. And for the Vikings, number 43, James Wright. At a guard for Janesville Craig, number 12, Chris Dillon. And for Milwaukee, Vincent, number three, Jose Winston. The other guard for the Cougars, number 14, Tim Collins. 
And for the Vikings, number five, Robert Yanders. Janesville Craig is coached by Bob Suter. Milwaukee Vincent is coached by Tom Diener. Game 12 officials, Dan Kleist and David Shaw, both from Madison. So here we go, two teams of very different state tournament histories recently. Milwaukee Vincent, the defending champions, and Janesville Craig finally got that monkey off their back last night, winning at state for the first time for Bob Suter in five tries. Four straight times, and he fight. But now listen, the teams that beat him had a combined record of 70 and one. What do you look for tonight in this game, Jim? Tempo, I, I don't think that Janesville Craig is going to change up from what they've been doing all year long. They're going to get up and down the court. They're going to try to break you down. But you also got to remember that they have two big kids inside. Craig does. Vincent, on the other hand, if they get a lead, you're going to have to probably watch him sit on the ball. Vincent in the white uniforms tonight. Janesville Craig in the blue. We are underway. Craig has the basketball first. That's Scott Vanderhei, 22. Aubrey Lewis Byers had 22 points last night. He gets it back from Vanderhei, and now Van. Uh, Aubrey Lewis rather gets it to Austin Latka just underway division two semifinals ball swatted out of the hands of Chris Dillon by Robert Yanders but Craig will keep it there you see Tom Diener in his fourth year as head coach of Milwaukee Vincent his career record there 78 and 20 Latka loses control a scrap on the floor and Vincent comes away with it here's Jose Winston that's a great pass to James Wright for two on that, they look like they want to get up and down the court. They did push the ball in that one. Vincent, uh, strong man to man. That's about what they played. They've been playing that all year long. Aubrey Lewis Byers with a strong move against Wright, but Wright commits the foul, sending Lewis Byers to the line. Here's that first basket again. Yeah, and Vincent pushed it this time, and then they got the young sophomore right on a lob pass. He laid it up off the glass. All day long, you heard a lot of people around the field house anticipating this game. What a great matchup Janesville Craig and Milwaukee Vincent is. Yeah, I, I think they match up really well. The only difference is I think Janesville Craig last night against Oshkosh North used uh, nine players. I don't know if Vincent can go that deep. I think they used six or seven. Aubrey Lewis Byers was 10 of 15 from the field last night. And he converts two free throws there. It's 2-2, 7-15 left, first quarter. Milwaukee Vincent and Janesville Craig. Thanks for joining us tonight in the WIAA State Tournament Network. Looks like Janesville Craig is in a half-court or three-quarter, 2-2-1. Two, two, now here's Jose Winston dribbling the ball, number three. Janesville Craig dropped in the zone. 44, Xavier Swanigan in the lane. Rebound, Aubrey Lewis Byers for Janesville Craig, and the Cougars, as expected, want to push it. Tim Collins now to Lewis Byers. Latka's inside. He's awfully dangerous there, but there's a great play by Marshall Williams. Oh, great hands. Uh, they, they play defense very well, but that was a good pass, and he put it on the floor. He might have had two points. Now Williams works offensively and loses it out of bounds to Craig. First turnover of the game for the Vikings. You have two teams in contrast where Vincent has uh, one senior starter and just the opposite uh, of Janesville Craig. Uh, they have one, they have four uh, seniors and uh, one sophomore, number 50. Now here's Collins from outside for three for Craig. Tim Collins, Tim Collins from outside, 5-2 Janesville Craig. Janesville came out a little bit trying to trap on the passes to stop penetration. Now here's Vincent, the defending champions. Swanigan kicks it back to Winston. That's a three. That's long. Rebound fought for. Look at right battle and back outside. Here's Yanders in the corner for three. He got it. That's how he started the ball game yesterday. You got to keep an eye on where the number five is. And of course, James Wright did his job. He got the rebound and kicked it out. We're tied at five with five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Scott Vanderhei for Craig in the lane. That's Austin Latka. Collins fakes the three. Now here's Vanderhei. You know, everybody may be uh, keying on Dylan, but uh, Collins is a pretty good three-point shooter, too. 
Vanderhei saw an opening. Now back to Collins. Can't get it off, though. James Wright with a nice defensive play. Now they work it in. Aubrey Lewis Byers from Collins. Well, Aubrey Lewis Byers is just like Marshall Williams. If you take a look at 32, take a look at 50. They're almost built the same way to both sophomores, too. Four points for Aubrey Lewis Byers. Craig back in front by two. Swanigan. That's Marshall Williams working with it. Now to Yanders for three. That's off. Latka battles for the rebound. Tips it to Lewis Byers. Nice hustle there by Robert Yanders to tie it up. And possession arrow for Milwaukee Vincent. Our first substitution of the game. It's for Bob Suter's Janesville Craig Cougars. 44 Casey Murray into the lineup. Oh, they go nine deep, like I said before. If you notice the last couple of times down, they're kind of giving Swanigan that pass in the middle where it's open at. He's really not been a threat offensively all year long. Four and a half minutes left. They kick it out to Yanders. Another three. Got it and count it and a foul. Robert Yanders for three. Robert Yanders with a potential four-point play. Well, this is what he did last night. This is what he's been doing all year long. He did it in the state tournament last year when they won it. I believe the person that was on 44, Casey Murray. Okay, they're still trying to straighten that out. I believe it was on 44, Murray, who came out to challenge the shot and commit the foul. Great, great foul. Yes, it is on Murray, his first. After the shot, team number one. Now, Vincent has the basketball. No free throw attempt. They uh, get possession of the ball. 8-7, Vincent leading. Here's Tyrone Roan now into the lineup. 21 for Vincent. And that rebound goes to Casey Murray, and here comes Craig. Now trailing by one. Well, Tyrone, uh, Tyrone Roan came in because he's another kid that can uh, knock down the outside shot, take some pressure off the middle. Latka at the free throw line. Gets it right back. Now to Collins. Chris Dillon feeds Latka at the post. Turn over Williams short. Well, now that was a great pass inside, but uh, he was a little tentative and he should have taken the ball up right away. And Latka commits the foul. Boy, when he misses a shot, it's news. He was 11 of 12 from the field last night. Well, a little different story now. The athletes from Vincent are a little quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, the athletes jump a little higher. So, uh, you know, he's worried about getting the shot blocked. Latka's first personal foul. Team foul number two on Janesville Craig. 3.45 left in the quarter, and that pass goes right to Austin Latka for Craig. Here's Dillon working on Yanders, and Yanders commits the foul. Dillon was trying to say he was putting up a shot, but that's not going to wash. The 1997 WIAA State Basketball Tournament is brought to you by Cenex, Land Lakes, and your local cooperatives. Partners you can trust. There's Brent Jerome into the Janesville Craig lineup for Austin Latka. You notice Craig is pushing the ball, but they're not pushing the ball as, as well as they did against Oshkosh North because you got to think uh, quicker athletes that are yes. out on the floor. Vincent definitely has something to do with that. Now here's Craig. Aubrey Lewis Byers working outside. He can handle the ball and move inside like that. Shot though rolls off and Williams rebound for Vincent but loses it to Dillon. Scoop move, got it. Yeah, he's been big time for him all year long. And now look at Vincent run the other way. Well, just the opposite of last night. And I, I kind of had a feeling like that because they can run if they want to. Oh, Jose Winston in the lane. Jose Nicely Winston. done. His first two of the evening, and Vincent goes back on top by a point, 10-9. Brent Jerome has it, 52. That's Casey Murray now. Aubrey Lewis Byers, he'll work again inside and a foul. Going to be on 44, Xavier Swanigan. No, he was a little stronger last night against Oshkosh North, but I think he's got uh, Marshall Williams and the Swanigan that uh, are probably just as strong as he is. Bob Suter is in. Now, last night was a lot easier. Now, it's spin move. He took it up strong, but uh, you got a, uh, another strong body on him. Aubrey Lewis Byers makes the first free throw. Austin Latka returns to the Janesville Craig lineup. Bob Suter in his 11th year as head coach of the Janesville Craig Cougars. His overall record, 215 wins, 44 losses. 
And he's been with that program for a long time. He was with Stan Dufresne a number of years before he got the head job. Bob does an excellent job. Lewis Byers free throws puts Janesville Craig on top as we see saw back and forth and with 239 left in the quarter a timeout. We'll be right back to this WIAA state tournament game after a short message from your network sponsors. This is your WIAA network station. At Cenex, gasoline is available at automated fuel pumps 24 hours a day, and all major credit cards are welcome. Turn off your engine, slide your Cenex convenience card or any one of your major credit cards through the MagStripe reader. Select the type of fuel and proceed with fuel pumping. After pumping fuel, slide your card through the MagStripe reader. The system will print a receipt of your transaction. That's all there is to it. It's easy and convenient anytime, day or night. Tom, can I make a suggestion? You're fired! <laughs> Welcome to eternity. Rivers flow love. Hmm. Heaven. <laughs> yes. There's a look at the Craig Cougar, the Craig team leading Milwaukee Vincent by one after the first quarter. You've been looking at these teams' season results, and you see some interesting numbers as far as how many points they, uh, they score. It might be a little different tonight, but uh, Craig had 11 games. They had five games where he scored 80 points, six games where he scored 70, one where he scored 90, and then in regional play, they had one game where he scored 80. Just the opposite of Vincent, two, two games over 70 points just twice during the, uh, the whole year. Both teams making half of their field goal attempts. Vincent with twice as many attempts, however. But Craig leads it 11-10. 2.26 left in the quarter. Jose Winston. Nice drive. Nice kick out to Roan. Now here's Williams with a floater in the lane. Rebound Casey Murray. Janesville Craig. Here come the Cougars. Dillon to Aubrey Lewis Byers. Casey Murray puts one up for three, and he got it. Yeah. They're beginning to line them up. But if you notice during that timeout, what Vincent did, they moved Swanigan out of the middle and put Marshall Williams in the middle because he's more of an offensive threat and can handle the basketball. Williams follows his own shot twice and scores. Good work there by Marshall Williams. And also what uh, Vincent is doing, they're taking the uh, Jamesville Craig Patton sideline breakaway. Mm -hmm. As Dillon makes the move, he is fouled by 21, Tyrone Roan. His first. Tyrone Roan, fourth team foul now in Milwaukee Vincent. And here goes Bob Suter's bench back to work again. Actually, Vander High, who started the game, is back in. And Casey Murray, with that big three, comes to the bench. 145 left in the quarter. There you see the score. You also notice the substitution pattern. Uh, Tyrone uh, Hart Roan mm -hmm. is the only substitute that's been in uh, for Vincent. Craig's kind of shuttling them in and out. Vanderhigh working. Latka. Back to Collins. And a technical foul on Tom Diener. Boy. That must have developed pretty quickly. Well, Tom might have gotten that too to kind of spark his kids up too. I don't know for what reason he got it, but uh, you know, James with Craig is very good at dribble, dribble drive, and kicking it to somebody. So, Chris Dillon. Goes to the free throw line for Janesville Craig. He now has three points tonight. He'll get another. And two free throws by Chris Dillon, who shoots 84% from the line. That also counts as a team foul for. Milwaukee Vincent so that and they now have five team fouls so a technical foul a team foul five team fouls on Milwaukee Vincent well last last night the two big men were able to work that high low they're not able to do that this year and Vincent is jumping out on the ball a lot quicker well Dylan along three misses and on the rebound Vander High fouls Williams Well, well, he got a good look at that, uh, at that shot. He had all yeah. day long. He hit those last night. That was that was right at us, right at our angle. 
Now here's Milwaukee Vincent in the final minute of quarter number one 16 12 Janesville Craig. It looked like Craig is in a 1 2 2 and then uh, depending on the offensive set of Vincent looks like a 3 2. That, that was deflected by Vander High so there's no over and back and it's tracked down by Xavier Swanigan. And now the Vincent Vikings. You They'll be patient. Yeah. yeah. And they got a basket just before the quarter. Just before the quarter, the uh, just before halftime, yeah. I should say, too. A couple of threes, in fact. Right. And probably what they're going to do is match up. Uh, 14 will be on uh, Swanigan in the middle. We got the weak guys will probably be on them. Middle guy's probably going to be responsible for a guy in the middle and probably Jose Winston so he doesn't penetrate. Dish off the number yep. five last night. Remember, he got two trays just before the end of the quarter. Same tactics he did last, but except he's behind. And they wait pretty long with this. They'll go with about six seconds, and yeah. here we go. And that's Yanders for, rather, Winston for three. Missed it. Lat for rebound. Vander High will get it off. No, he didn't get it off. Rims out. He wouldn't have counted. We'll be back to this WIAA State Tournament game after a short message from your local sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? I got over to Puffy. Go to your local car expert brakes instead of the dealer and see how much you save. Enough for new waiters. Save a bundle, call the car expert. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? New from CarX. Now get a free rental car to drive while we fix your car. A free rental car from CarX. One more way we get you going fast. Save a bundle, call the car expert. Welcome back to the field house. After one, Janesville Craig leads Milwaukee Vincent 16-12. Milwaukee Washington has already reached the Division I championship game with a 53-38 win over previously undefeated Wauwatosa East. Our pick and save first quarter stats tell us that field goal shooting. Well, uh, Milwaukee Vincent shot the ball 13 times at Craig's six, but the difference is uh, from the free throw line where uh, Vin, uh, Craig is six for six, and Vincent hadn't been there. Both teams have hit a couple of three-point shots, so it's 16-12. Janesville, Craig, we start the second quarter. Tim Collins with it, working against Robert Yanders. Dillon has a three, and it rims out. Rebound. Jose Winston goes high for the Vikings. Look at him go. Passes it to Tyrone Rowan to Williams. No, and Williams on the rebound is going to be called for a foul. Well, you know, like uh, last night against Warsaw West, the tactics was to slow it down, and he ran it a little bit. Now they're trying to kick it up and down the court. Uh, they're capable of doing it. They haven't done it much, though, this past year. They didn't have to. Marshall Williams, his first team. First foul seven. on Marshall Williams. Team foul number six on Milwaukee Vincent. So Janesville Craig goes to the bonus with 7.35 left second quarter. Vincent still in their man to man. Vander High. Back out to Aubrey Lewis Byers. He's working on Xavier Swanigan. Now here's Austin Latka. Vander High to Latka. Well, you know, Vincent's doing a better job than Oshkosh North did, and I like that tactic. Either three quarter to a guy on a post or in front of him, and they're fighting to get around him. Lewis Byers, strong moving the lane, block, but a foul on Swanigan. Boy. Good effort by Swanigan, but he fouled him. Well, we'll that, was again. The, that was a great call because he went across. He got him across the hand when he was shooting. So Casey Murray returns to the Janesville Craig lineup. Also, number 43, James Wright for Milwaukee Vincent. And Swanigan will take a seat on the bench. The 1997 WIA State Basketball Tournament is brought to you by Marshfield Clinic, national leader in medical care, research, and education. Aubrey Lewis Byers has taken five free throw attempts tonight. He has made all five. Seven points for him this evening after 22 last night. 
Thirty eight for eight from the free throw line at, uh, with that with that one right there. You notice the rotation of Vincent too, where Jamesville Craig has been using a little more people. They just uh, James Wright, uh, Tyrone uh, Rome, Rome, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yep. Robert Yanders for three. Rebound. That's Collins getting it for Craig. Now look at the bugs fly around him, man. Vincent's flying all over the place, but Collins still able to hang on. Latka at the post over Williams got it. Now that's the first time that he got the ball. He turned and he used his jumping ability. He went right at him, and that's what you have to do. Latka's first points of the night. Craig now up eight. Well, look like what they're doing uh, too. Like the looks defensively a little different. When Jose's bringing it down, they want to put a guy on him and kind of slow him down. That's what you don't want him to do, though. Winston gets through for a shot. Williams strong rebound and puts it in. That's what he does best. Marshall Williams, Marshall Williams with four points. He really came into his own as a freshman in last year's tournament. Now he's a sophomore. Man, he still is a huge force for the Vincent Vikings. Aubrey Lewis, Byers driving and scoring. Oh, that, that was a great drive. But you see what Vincent's doing, too. What they're doing is sag in the middle. They're either using Marshall Williams or uh, James Wright in the middle, where they're not coming out on their man right away. They're still in the man-to-man, -man, but they're sagging in the lane, so they don't use that uh, uh, high-low pulse getting it inside to their two big men. Okay, Vincent inbounds now with 5.49 left. First half, 22-14, Janesville Craig. 2-3 zone. Jose Winston with it, number three. Here's 32, Marshall Williams. And gets the roll, and a whistle after the basket goes in, and I think Austin Latka is going to be called for a personal foul for Janesville Craig. Count the basket. 42, Austin Latka with the personal foul. So a good sequence here for the Vincent Vikings. Yeah, that was nice, slow, nice, nice soft touch on that shot. Latka's second personal foul, and Vincent gets the ball as well. So the lead now down to six, and the Vikings can cut into that. Okay, they're going to push everybody back and let Jose Winston create something, and he does to James Wright, who scores. Well, that's what he's doing. They're playing the zone. Now, they figured if they were playing a man-to-man, -man, they'd be in some real trouble. But they can't even stop him on the zone. He's getting into the gap and dishing off to uh, the right people. Wright has four. The lead for Janesville Craig is four. Murray to Dillon. Short. Rebound right. Now here's Vincent pushing. And a foul. Casey Murray couldn't quite get there. And he fouls Jose Winston. Second personal foul on Casey Murray. Fifth team foul on Janesville Craig. Here's Brent Jerome back in for the Cougars. That was a strong rebound by James Wright mm. down there. Wright averages 7.6 rebounds per game. Look at that pass into Williams in the lane. Nicely done from Jose Winston. Yeah, good pass, and he was smooth doing it, too. Marshall Williams now with eight points. Wow! Right blocks Aubrey Lewis Byers. Yeah, it won't be, it won't be that easy tonight for him. He's got some giddy up, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> Craig keeps the basketball, but boy, that put a charge in the Vincent crowd. Inbounding. Lewis Byers right back. Well, then that's what you have to do against a shot blocker. He went right back at him. You got to challenge him. Now here's Tyrone Roan floating and missing, and Dillon with a rebound for Craig. I think uh, Vincent has to be careful. They don't want to get in a foot race too much with James with Craig. Dan Saunders is now in number 10 for Craig. They move the ball real well. Inside out. Dribble drive, kick. Nice. Oh, nice look at the basket. Brent Jerome missed out. the shot. Now here comes Vincent. Oh, that off the foot of Murray, but... Tyrone Roan able to get it for the Vikings. And that, that's kind of easy to fall into that trap if a team is running, isn't it? Oh, that yeah. you want to do it yourself? Yeah. And here we go. Dylan. Roan against Dylan. Oh, look at the quickness by Tyrone Roan. They got quick hands. Uh, they'll still run, but uh, they won't get the easy ones. Oh, this is a good hustle by 21. Good hands. Oh, nice and clean. But the Cougars have it in a four-point lead with 3.43 left second quarter. 
Dan Saunders. Looking to foul. 